Welcome back to the podcast. This episode is about immoral crime, more commonly known as moral turpitude. Crimes involving moral turpitude have an inherent quality of vileness, depravity, or evil against individuals or society in general. This could include rape, paedophilia, slavery, incest, bestiality, and torture, etc. Anyone can be a victim of immoral crime. Serious immoral crimes are usually committed against vulnerable groups of society or women and children. For example, rape, prostitution and slavery. The vast majority of immoral crimes are committed by men due to the disproportionate power men have in society. For example, with slavery, it's usually people from rich backgrounds who are the likely perpetrators. Crimes of a sexual nature or against children are frequently reported and are genuinely newsworthy because of the gruesome nature of the crime. The reasons immoral crimes go unreported is because victims are usually afraid of consequences. For a real life example, we have Joseph Fritzl. In 1984, he lured 18 year old daughter Elizabeth into his cellar where he drugged and raped her repeatedly. He kept his daughter in a soundproof basement for 24 years. Joseph fathered seven children with Elizabeth. Three children, 5 to 19, were kept in a windowless cellar. They were released in 2008. March 2009, Joseph was jailed for life after pleading guilty to murder by negligence over the death of the baby he cremated. Other charges include enslavement, incest, rape, coercion, and false imprisonment. Thank you for joining us on this uh, episode. Uh, we'll uh, see you tomorrow.